Good morning, scholars, faculty, and families. What's cracking, y'all? That is right. It is Fun Friday, October 9th, 2020. And we are coming at you right now on this beautiful Friday to give you your morning announcements, your words of encouragement, and so we can end this week strong and be on our way for a beautiful uh, weekend. Let's go ahead and get things cracking around over here, guys. So, hey, as we start off every single morning with our school-wide expectations, because we are respectful, we are responsible, we make right choices, we are relentless, we are readers. Every day we are readers becoming elite readers. We are runners staying fit, and we rise to the challenge, we rise to the occasion. All right, cool beans. Well, there was something that I was um, thinking about earlier this morning. I just, uh, for some reason, every time I'm on my way, Driving down here to the school, I'm always thinking about something, and this is uh, what 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 came up um, last right there. So, um, how do we know that the ocean is friendly? Hmm. Well, because it waves. <laughs> because it waves, the waves come across. Oh man, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. All right, y'all. Well, why don't you guys know our monthly theme? This month, for the month of October, our superhero characteristic trait that we're focusing on is being respectful. Okay, And there's one thing that is just so important when it comes to respect scholars and families and faculty, and that is uh, choosing to respect people regardless of how they treat you. Now, I know that that, that probably sounds maybe weird to some of you. It's kind of like choosing to love, choosing to serve, even though that maybe the other person may not be as loving, may not be as kind. Because you know that when you choose to love somebody, when you choose to serve somebody, when you choose to respect somebody, even though that they may not be doing it back, what you do over time is that you bring a conviction in their heart. They, they will realize and say, wow, this person has just really been treating me kindly, but I haven't. And that takes time, and that takes a lot of sacrifice. But you know what? That's the way that, that I want to live my life. I know it's not easy. It is very difficult. But, man, you will start to see a change in yourself, but you will start to see a change in those around you, scholars. It is so beautiful. And so my encouragement to every one of you is choose to respect people. Give them that benefit of the doubt. Love people because they are very valuable, and you will see a change in your hearts, and you're going to see a change in others. All right, so now with our um, announcements now, check it out, y'all. This is so rad today. You're going to be heading over to our Spirit Day channel. So let's do that right now. If you go to our Spirit Day channel, the, that's right, right there. You're going to click on this link, which is going to take you to the Microsoft form, which I just like to do every Friday. And you're going to post your autumn, uh, your autumn art. You can you can do all kinds of stuff. You can take a picture of the, the leaves falling. You can draw on the sidewalk with chalk. You can uh, paint your own canvas and on paper. You can do whatever it is. Bring out your, your artistic side. I know that many of you guys are very artistic. You're creative. Have fun with this and then post it there and make sure you leave what team that you're on because that's how you're going to earn superhero points. Well, Everybody is probably now well aware, man, that we are super readers. And that is our main superpower, you guys. So let's take a looky-looky at where is the current numbers right now for our competition. Oh, my goodness. Let's check this out right here, guys. So we have, we are barely hanging on to the lead at 1,410,258 words. Wow, and Redwood is just behind us at 1,399,451. Dude, we are just neck to neck. We were like, deep, deep, deep. this is so awesome. It's so cool to see so many scholars reading. So guys, let's keep that going on there. When you read a book, man, get on that AR, and then you can take your quiz right there. And guys, when the weekend is coming up, Saturday and Sunday, that is your, your opportunity to take 20 minutes to one hour each Saturday and Sunday and make time to read with, with your family. So very cool right there. Well, as you guys know, we're also doing a book drive. Miss, Miss Markov has this um, awesome vision of creating a community library where we're going to create a mobile library that will go around to the, the neighborhoods. It's going to have hundreds and hundreds of books that we're going to be able to 
give to scholars and parents to create a community of reading. It's going to be so rad, but it's going to be an exchange, meaning like when you grab a book and then when we come back, you can put that book back and then you can grab another one. So we are looking for books here. If you, know, if you have any books that you're not using, kids books, teenager books, adult books, bring them on down, y'all. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. This is so rad right here, guys. Have you head over yet to our, our library page? Check this out it's right here. When you um, um, head over there, uh, here's our webpage right here. And then you go uh, to the library page. And then right here where it says book bingo. Bam. There's going to be a one, one um, document right there. And when you click on that document, it's going to give you um, a, uh, a bingo sheet. This is so cool, guys. And when you click on either one of these, okay, so if it says right here, read, read a fairy tale or a folk tale, read a mystery. When you're done with it and you click on it, it's going to take you to a flip grid. Okay, so oh, actually, let me right here. So it's going to take you to a flip grid. So, and when you get five, and like say if you do five in this column right here, that's five points. If you do five in a row, five points, five points, five points. Dude, so that means you can earn up to 25 points per, uh, I'm sorry, 50 points all together. Dude, this is so crazy. You guys are going to earn so many points here. So if it says read a scary or a Halloween um, story right there, look at I clicked on it. Look at all of these scholars right here that have, um, look at that. Miss Spring's in there, Delilah, Isabella, Nicholas. There are so many of you guys. This is so cool right here. So, so my encouragement to all of you guys is to um, head over here, is to head over to the library page, click on this, and you can also use this as part of our AR competition, right? So it kind of all coincides, plus you can get points for your team. Alrighty, guys. Well, there is so much going on right here. Check this out. Did you know that, scholars, you can win a dance party? Whoop, there it is. You can win a dance party or you can win a lunch with Mr. Rodriguez and I. That is right. And, and parents, you can win either this awesome gift basket or gift cards by doing the following. You need to scan this guy right here or just go to this website right here. And it's just a very simple form that, that we need all of our parents to, to complete. This is actually is very important to our district as it relates to how we're able to get uh, funding and be able to provide meals. It is a, a really neat thing that we do for the community. But we just got to make sure that we have everybody doing that. So um, you say, well, how do I get these prizes? Well, the first three classes, that's right. The first three classes that get 100% are going to be our winners. And yes, teachers also do have a motivation as well. They have a few gifts and uh, surprises that they can win as well. So we have this competition going on. Who can be the first three classes to reach 100%? Uh, we have, uh, we're have we awarding teachers, scholars, and parents. So go ahead, guys, and dive in. And hey, guys, make sure that you guys are logging in every day. Why? Because we are giving out really cool awards at the end of, of the month for the top five scholars in each grade level, in preschool, TK, all the way up to sixth grade. So if you think about it, that's five, six, seven, seven, that's, uh, seven times five is 35. So we're going to um, give out 35 awards uh, and surprises that on, at the end of the month. So, hey, make sure that you're logging in every day. And we want to make sure that you are learning and you're staying engaged with your classes. All righty. We are just about done here. Hey, did you guys know, like, I got this right here from Ramundo from Miss Skate's class. He's on Team Flash. And so he sent me an email. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and post this just to represent. And I was like, I thought that this was pretty cool. And then, um, now, I'm not, you know what? I think Team, I think Bumblebee did this on accident. He didn't do this on purpose right here. I mean, he was just taking a stroll through the campus. And then I'm not sure what Green Lantern and, and uh, Flash and Captain America were doing. But they were like, I don't know if they were like kind of conspiring or if they were trying to plan something. I don't know. But. Um, accidentally team bumblebee hit him with the car so but they're but they're fine right now we we got a medical attention everybody is fine right there so um thank goodness for that so if you guys are wondering where are we doing with our points right now yes they are at green lantern leading barely by 431 and then flash at 417 bumblebee at 369 and captain america at 269 so hey how do you earn points today go to the uh, spirit day channel and post your your um, autumn. Also, go to 
our uh, Together We Can Become Superheroes. Every Monday, Miss Tackett posts a challenge right there. So when you click on this guy right here, this is so cool. It's going to take you to a Flipgrid. And uh, right here, look at that. so far that there are 28 scholars that have responded already. And so the question today is, uh, we practice respect at home, at school, and everywhere we go. So tell me, what's something that you can do that will help others take, uh, feel taken care of? How can you make others to feel important? And what, and, uh, and, and that's how we show respect. And so here, like you just press this big red thing right here, bam, re record a response, and then it's going to go right here. So this is so cool to see everybody on here. Keep up the great work right there, guys. All right, and I think we're wrapping up our uh, time here. Let's see, let, let's see. That's right. Our theme, Together We Become Superheroes. Hey, guys, let's make this a great day or not. The choice is yours.